And here's the Quran 1,500 years ago or so telling us that this is where you're going to be punished from or pulled out through when you're a bad guy. So it's really science, religion, it all agrees for me. Yeah, they actually, um, I, I was talking while I was in chiropractic school in Atlanta. I was just discussing with close friends that um, it was something I was interested in. I always wanted to know how to pray to God correctly. When I still have a Quran, someone let me borrow, they gave it to me. And, and I got halfway through it and that was the end of it. This was exactly, the, it just made sense. The Quran, even in the English translation, just completely made sense to me. Mm -hmm. Like the brother was mentioning, all the prophets in there, I had already studied about. The Quran just provided me with a cleaner option of all those stories, and then it added to it. it There's just a beautiful addition to the thoughts I already had. It was awesome. It was, uh, I gotta tell you, it was, it, it really is. And then, like I said, I was already halfway through the Quran, so honestly, your life becomes easier. You, you tell me what the rules are, and now I know exactly what I'm gonna do and what I'm not gonna do. Mm -hmm. If I don't know the rules, then how, how fair is life? That, that's nothing but stress. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like when the police change the speed limit all of a sudden and you get caught. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's not really fair because you didn't know it changed. Yeah, it does. Um, the Put Quran is, is, even in the English translation, is, is, was so clear. This is exactly how we do things. This is right, this is wrong. These are the rewards, these are the punishments. Um, it makes it easier for me if, to be a father. Because imagine if I'm wrong and my child brings the Quran to me and says, Dad, you're supposed to do it this way. Well, my child's right, and I'm not. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really simple. My wife and I, if we disagree, and she says, you know, I don't think that's very Islamic, you know, you're, you're, you're right. There's, there's, it, it, it simplifies. Islam has simplified my life beyond any measure I could have imagined. Like I said, the Quran is clear. All you have to do is pull up the verse. I mean, even with, with the chiropractic that I practice, there's a verse, there's an ayah, uh, 15 and 16. If you read the 96th surah and you read through to 15 and 16, Allah talks about how he's gonna pull or how our souls are gonna be pulled out through the English translation I said, I have says through our forelocks, right? Through our foreheads, through, they're gonna be ripped out. For a believer, it's just a little perspiration. Perspiration. With my functional neurology, where, what area now do you think science should support religion and your religion should support your science, they're, they're, if they're right? Where do you think you make that final decision whether you dis do something or you inhibit that bad action? That's the forehead, that's the frontal lobes, that's the forelock, that's the brain. There's no way we knew that 1,500 years ago. I mean, remember, just a few hundred years ago, people thought women didn't have a brain. They thought, that, you know, the Christians didn't think women had a soul forever, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, here's the Quran 1,500 years ago or so telling us that this is where you're going to be punished from or pulled out through when you're a bad guy. And that's, that's your final inhibition, that's your final initiation of the good or bad you decide to do. It's the forehead. It's the forelock. So it's really science, religion, it all agrees for me. <laughs>